Hey everyone, this is Jason. We're trying something new today. I wanted to show you a way that you can get some more practice for Envision Math programs. And to do that, you're going to go on the internet and go to the Pearson website, which is pearsonsuccessnet.com. When you're there, you're going to enter in your login, your username, and your password. Click in the login button, and it's going to take you to the site, which if you've been there before, it should look familiar. The thing that might be new is that you're going to go up to the very top where there's a planning tab and next to that underneath that there's something called my tests. So I want you to click on the my test button and even though you can create tests for kids we're actually going to just use this to create a practice sheet by clicking build new test. You start off by entering uh, math any kind of name in there and then go down to where it says find test items based on and you're going to choose instead of by standard you're going to be choosing by skills and we're going to do a fifth grade sample right now then we can choose any of these options underneath we can choose our own questions or let it automatically go or we can and we can also only have multiple choice or ones that we need to score click the next button now we're going to choose the grade we want hit go and it's going to list for us the different topics that we can choose from we're going to look right now at let's say we're doing topic 10 and we're focusing on fractions so I might choose if I want some more practice in that area I would check that checkbox for topic 10 and then what I'm gonna do is hit the next button now you'll be surprised to see that we have every lesson in that topic listed and on the right hand side you can see the number of questions that are in each of those lessons so we're gonna choose three lessons I'm gonna choose 10 let's say we want to do 10.4 10.5 and 10.6 all I need to do is check those boxes one two three and then go down to the bottom and hit next we're moving on now you can see I can choose how many questions I want to do so I can use use this auto fill now if I use a big number like let's say I put in 20 and I hit fill it can only there aren't 20 in, at questions in each lesson so it's only gonna pull as many questions as are in each lesson into that but let's say I only wanted 15 total and I put 5 it's gonna pull 5 questions from each of those lessons automatically all I need to do is go to the bottom hit it hit finish and preview and I wait while it makes my practice sheet now as I look at this practice sheet at the very top I can see that there's an online version for kids I could get a paper version or I could view a summary of all the problems and the answers but we're looking at the teacher's version because you can see there's answers on the right hand side and it's giving me a chance to look at all the questions that I have that are on there in case there's any I want to change but right now we're gonna take it as it is I'm gonna go to the top and check, click on view paper version now when it kicks it over to a PDF you can see that it's a nice printable version that I could print up which has all the problems that I, I've selected now that's great but let's before we wrap up let me show you one more thing let's say you go back to the main website and you go back into my test first of all you can see that the practice sheet we just created is stored in there but we're gonna build a new test and we're gonna do this one based on standards instead of on a lesson we're gonna base it problems on certain standards and let's say we're gonna base it on number sense 1.2 now you can see I tried to put a dash in there it didn't like it that didn't make it happy so don't use any periods or dashes in your title and inst I, instead of changing that to skills I'm actually just gonna leave it on standards for fifth grade as I find and then I can go down and I'm gonna check that box so maybe you might throw in some open-ended questions in there and we're gonna use the number sense standard and we're gonna use number sense 1.2 so I'm gonna check on that one and you can see there's a lot of questions associated with these standards because the standards are so broad but I can then I can go to the autofill or I can just type in 20 problems if I like that and it's going to generate 20 problems based on number sense 1.2 which is more than just fractions has other aspects to that standard as well so you can see that it's the practice sheet is much broader but again I can view paper version I can view an online version and here's a look at the summary where it's going to give me each of the questions and the answer that goes with it just in case I was wondering so I hope that's helpful over and out